This is the Asus ProArt PX13, a 13-inch laptop with some impressive specs. The model I have here features the AMD Ryzen AI 9HX370 with its Radeon 880M integrated graphics. And we also get the NVIDIA RTX 4050 and 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM. So the PX13 here can work a few different ways. So as a laptop, or you can go ahead and uh, turn it around here. So now you can have it like as a tablet if you wanted to. And uh, you, it does switch uh, orientations here, as you can see. So pretty quickly it does that as well. And uh, if you wanna just go ahead and do this, if you're watching anything, you can go ahead and do this as well. You can leave it like so. And uh, once you go ahead and leave it like this, uh, the keyboard is gonna be offline. So you can go ahead and put it like this. So pretty much you're able to go ahead and use it uh, any way you want to. And this whole laptop weighs only 1392 grams. Looking at the ports on the right hand side here, we do get a USB 4.0 Gen 3 Type-C, uh, which also supports display and power delivery. And then we also get a Type-A USB here, 3.2 Gen 2, and the micro SD card reader 4.0, and the power button. And also lights up uh, whenever the laptop is on. Flipping to the other side here, we get the DC in, and then uh, we have an HDMI 2.1 FRL, and then we also get another USB 4.0 Gen 3 with a support display and power delivery, and the 3.5 combo audio jack as well. And an indicator here whenever the battery is charging. Here we get a 3K touchscreen OLED display with a 16 by 10 aspect ratio and a resolution of 2880 by 1800 with a 0.2 millisecond response time. And it can go up to 500 nits of HDR peak brightness. One thing we don't get is a high refresh rate for this display and we are stuck at 60 Hertz. Uh, checking out the pixels of this OLED just in case you wanna go ahead and see those. So here we are. At the top, uh, we have a full HD camera with the uh, infrared functions to support Windows Hello. So the camera sits all flush up here, which looks nice and clean. Uh, there's no physical button to go ahead and turn off the camera, so you're gonna have to do it by clicking F10 here, then you're able to turn on and off the camera. And uh, here's the quality of the camera. You can kind of judge it for yourself here. And here we have a backlit chiclet keyboard, which feels very nice to type on. And it's not loud, it just feels really nice. So the keyboard has a 1.7 millimeter key travel. And looking below, we get a precision touchpad with a dial pad. And to go ahead and turn on the dial pad, all you have to do, you have uh, this. Just go ahead and swipe it down. And you're able to set the dial pad for any software like DaVinci Resolve, Photoshop, anything like that. So any options. So for example, on the desktop right now, I'm able to control the system brightness. So if I go ahead and click that, and uh, I'm able like to control it here, or click again right now, I'm gonna be able to go to volume here. And then I'm able to adjust the volume here. And you're able to set anything up go ahead and select uh, any software that you want here. So I have like DaVinci Resolve here. Then I'm able to set up functions, any functions that I want from the dial pad. So this 13 inch laptop comes with a 73 watt hour battery for cell. And it comes also with a 200 watt adapter, which uh, I was kind of impressed to see here. So just note, you're gonna have to use this uh, DC in if you wanna go ahead and uh, fast charger laptop. If you're outside and you don't have this 200 watt adapter with you, you're also able to use the USB Type-C for power as well. Looking at battery life, I was able to do a test here with the UL. Uh, this is the people behind 3D Mark and the PC Mark. Checking out the video playback battery life. Uh, so I had the brightness level to 50% and I was able to get nine hours and 33 minutes here. Looking at the thermals of this laptop, so currently on idle, it hovers around 39, 40 Celsius. And uh, as you can see here, uh, so that's the CPU. And then if we're going down, checking out the GPU here, so that's the internal 890 GPU. So 37, 38, about the same. And uh, for some reason, HDW info doesn't uh, show the GPU, so the RTX 4050. And here we can see it hovers around 45 Celsius. Right now we're gonna go ahead and turn on Cinebench uh, 2024 and uh, let that run. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, check out the whole laptop with the thermals. And also you can see the temperature inside as well. So here we have Cinebench 2024 open and checking out HDW info, we're creeping up at the 90 Celsius and uh, this is the outside temperature here. So we can already see like it's going up to like 54 Celsius up here. 
you don't want to kind of keep your fingers there for too long. And then uh, here we can see the colder portions like are on these two areas. The touchpad is not bad, uh, but everything else like in the middle here, it's definitely a little bit toasty. And uh, checking out the side here, this is the exhaust fan. And uh, same thing here, and uh, this is the bottom. Right now we're gonna go ahead and do a noise test here. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and be quiet for a minute and you can see how quiet the room is. And now we're gonna go ahead and uh, start a benchmark here and, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and see. And uh, that's pretty much where the dBs get stuck. So around the 45 dBs, uh, 46, 47 there. Um, and th that's how loud the laptop gets uh, when it's uh, under load. So if those thermals got you scared to get this laptop, I wouldn't really pay too much attention to it because under normal situations, like under light and medium workloads, if you're watching video, doing a video editing, you're never gonna really see those temperature creep up that much, what we just saw there, as we were just running a benchmark here. So just keep that in mind. But under heavy loads, or if you're running a game at max settings, it will definitely get toasty, but not to the extent that we just saw there. Really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions about this uh, PX13 or if there's like a benchmark or game you want me to test out, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll be more than happy to do that. Also, if you're new here, consider subscribing for more videos like this. I'll see you on the next one.